When you visit Brighton College, you realize there's a rich architectural history, an ambition that goes back to the 19th century. There is a very interesting rite of passage from the cerebral worlds of chapels, libraries, and study spaces through to the playing field and all that that represents as a competitive sporting arena. The exterior is the result of thinking about musical notes, tile configurations, the earth and the sky, drawn together in a particular way, responding to this context. There is a balanced asymmetry which has to do with sound, reverberation, and the other surfaces of the recital room. The music school had variable acoustics, which were panels which opened and closed. So it could go from a long reverberation time for groups of classical musicians, or a shorter reverberation time for speech or amplified music. The roof was a very complex construction. It had to do many things. It's a lightweight structure with many layers, sometimes floating layers. The geometry had to be right. It had to reflect the sound in the way you wanted it to be reflected. The actual physical performance of that roof was like half a meter of concrete, a huge amount of insulation. The most telling moment was when Paul Guilleron's predictions are tested with a piano sitting in the space. The first note is sounded. It's a pretty mind-blowing event. If you hit that note and it decays in the way you want it, you know that the room is playing exactly what you're playing and not something else. Yeah, we were all smiling. It sounded great. No late reflections, no coloration. Spot on. It's a very important moment. In the evening, Dave Gilmore came. He got students from the school and they played a couple of Pink Floyd numbers, which was absolutely fantastic. Wish You Were Here and things like that. It was absolutely wonderful. And then they played classical pieces as well. You open the flaps for the electric music and you close the flaps for the classical. Perfect. I don't have a phobia of a white sheet of paper. In fact, I find it quite liberating. The emergence from the fog of unknowing to something that's a speculation about how a set of spaces fit together is exciting, but moreover, begins to fit and resonate with context. That's a very, very critical part of my design journey. Each architect develops a language and the language carries through, it's slightly different, but it's saying the same thing, is we're, we're welcoming you to this building, we want to, you to enjoy yourselves, and that's what it's all about.